This is the plaintiff, Naji Shabazz. He says his car broke down and the cops called the defendant to tow it. When he went to retrieve it, his bumper, fender, and headlight were damaged by the lady at the tow yard. She said they'd been broken into and the cars were vandalized. The cops confirmed the break-in, and when he presented the bill to the defendant, he laughed and said to sue him. Okay, he's suing him for $1,993.63, the amount he's owed. This is the defendant, James Aurelio. He says he told the plaintiff's car because it was involved in a collision and that's what damaged it. None of this is his problem. He has no idea why the guy's lying and trying to pin these damages on him. And he won't give this scammer a red cent. He's accused of a low blow toe. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant towed his car and damaged it. But the defendant says the tow was because the plaintiff's car was damaged in a collision. It's the case of the sore tow. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Naji Shabazz? Yes, ma'am. You are suing Jim's auto body and towing, represented yes. here by James Aurelio, for $1,993.63. The estimate for repair to your car that you say they damaged, plus the towing and storage fees they charge you. Tell me what happened. Okay, on 12718, my car broke down on the eastern side of Bridgeport on Bearsley Street. My axle just gave out and broke, my okay. axle. And uh, the police rode by. They managed to call Jim's towing service, and they did. And when they did come out, uh, the gentleman over there on the left uh, came out, and uh, it seemed like that he was kind of like mad because it was a late hour, like he just got out of bed or something. What time of the night was it? Uh, 1.30 in the morning. Okay. And uh, he let the flatbed down and he like ran my car in the front and I told him, hey, slow down, hey, what are you doing? You're, you're going too fast up underneath there. And uh, he says, uh, don't tell him how to do his job. So I've been quiet, police was there. And uh, the police took me in their car and they asked me if I need a ride home, and they gave me a ride home. Okay, so he takes you home, and then you go to the um, tow place when? Uh, that Monday morning. Which is how many days later? Two. Okay, and when you get there, um, what is it you see? My fender's off and my light is out. My left light's cracked and broken out, Okay. hanging and out. Do you have a picture? Yes, do I do. Can, show me the picture, that's all I need. Do you have okay. a tow sheet? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. And so they, the light is pulled out. Like this is the bump. Is more, I'm this. sorry, can I talk? There are scratches on the, this is the bumper. It, it, the, this isn't the fender. I, I mean, I don't know what a fender is. This is the bumper, mm -hmm. right? Yes, okay. yes. So, and that has a bunch of scratches and then the light is yes. pulled out. All right, are there more pictures to show me? There's pieces, yes, of, you there took these pictures of the light. Right that, there on the ground. And is that, that's the picture of the ground where? At Jim's Auto. Did you bring it to their attention and say, what the heck happened? Yes, I did. And what'd they say? Well, the lady said, oh, well, we had a break-in last night, and uh, they must have damaged it then and there and all of this. Nobody seems to not know anything. All right, what happened to and this car? I brought the car in. The car was perfectly fine in the driveway. When I dropped the car because of the passenger side, ball joint and... Uh, wheel being hanging, I had it on my wheel lift. As I'm pulling my wheel lift out, it dragged on the front of the bumper. Uh, on the bottom of it, it's got like a little sheet, like a two inch lip. It dragged on the lip, on the wheel lift, and it unclipped the bumper on this side a little. Unclipped it, that was all. Well, when it unclips it, apparently breaks the light too. No, it didn't break the light. I well, unclipped the bumper. The pieces of the light are in your yard in the But those, those are the debris that was already in the yard. I let them in the yard Monday morning to There's take pictures of the of vehicle. There's yellow light next to the light that's broken. Every car in the yard is damaged, man. Exactly. I pick mm -hmm. up. We only tow wrecks. Every car is... As you see the paper there. It couldn't roll. But, the wheel, if the wheels were all four, it would have no problem, yeah. right? But you, because the wheel wasn't functional and couldn't roll, the car had to be dragged unfortunately. So then when you pick up the car, they charge you $337, correct? Yes, ma'am. For storage and tow. And then you are suing for that now, but as, as well as the repairs. Do you have a repair estimate 
for the damage. You want the front bumper, the right headlight assembly, the yeah. hood. What they did, they did the estimate, they looked at the fender, it's, it's the fender and the light. The whole fender needs to be repaired. In addition to this, when uh, he called AAA to pick up the car, AAA wouldn't pick up the car because he wouldn't give it, because it had damage and they couldn't get it on there without doing any more damage. So AAA. What year car is this? 2002, and when AAA he told AAA, Ralph told AAA not to get it, to leave it there on his yard. After they Wait, refused, why wouldn't AAA tow it? He, Ralph told him not to. No, Ralph, Ralph told might him have that. told him that you're going to have a trouble towing it because yes, this car exactly. is damaged, the axle's broken, Thank this you. and that, giving you a heads up, which is not a very neighborly thing to do for him, but it's a very neighborly thing for you to do to AAA. AAA said, uh-uh, we're <laughs> right. not going to get blamed for that's this. Exactly. We're not touching that's it. That's right. And then you hired that's someone exactly, else. I got it. That's exactly I got it. it. Where yeah. here on this repair is your axle? Underneath the uh, car. I know where an axle is in the car. The, the that I know. I mean, how come you're not repairing the, your axle? The axle did get repaired, but that wasn't the initial. That's the initial problem on why the car. Can I was see open. proof you got your axle repaired somewhere else? I don't have the proof of. The Are you driving I, the car now? The axle. Yes. Okay. So now, when you receive a phone, you receive a phone call from him, or when he tells you you guys have damaged my no, car. No, he was there. He came. And what did he say? That we damaged his car. And what did you say? I didn't do it. I ain't paying. Well, Jim called in for his cars being broken into. Yeah, what happened about a break-in that he's talking about? That he so if the car can't be towed properly without damage, but it's disabled, can the towing company be sued for the damage it causes? Um, as long as they had mentioned before that it's a like, problem, then I don't think they should be sued. OK, uh, what do you say? I agree with that. I think that you should, they should have advised that, you know, this could be an issue. Why can't they just put it in a flatbed so there's no damage? Well, first and foremost, if they did the job, do it right, and take care of the person, so they should be sued. Okay, going inside the courtroom. A few nights before that, uh, in our back storage yard, the kids broke, into, broke the windows of the cars and got in the cars to take the change and stuff. Nothing. Did they damage any of the cars besides breaking their windows of each window, car in order no, to get No, matter of fact, they were all abandoned cars that probably won't get claimed anyway, oh, so I was just fortunate. Not a customer's car. Yeah, but see, the kind of damage that we're talking about wouldn't happen by vandals, okay? That's the kind of damage that we're talking about would happen by either something hitting it <laughs> or what he admits, which is that he took it out and the, he, he ripped your fender. That's probably exactly how it happened. I don't know, I mean, your bumper, that your bumper right. got pulled out. Right, but the night and that so, I... But your position, I guess, is, mm -hmm. hey, that's not my fault that that happened. That was the only way to take the car off of our lift? There's no other way to tow that car without damaging the bottom bumper. The bumper right, but, without, but then don't tow clipping. the car. I mean, like, in other words, if you take it upon yourself to tow the car and there's no way to do it without damaging the car, how is that okay? Well, because it was in a hazardous place. It was in the middle of the road, and they wanted it to move. So, you know, it's like six and one half. Dead. We, I don't think anybody else could have did it any better than we had. We'll never know. Well, we've been doing it. But, I mean, I have, I have, look, he's honest, and he's saying, look, this is the only way to do this, and this is what happened. Um, and why would you get paid back the towing and the storage fees? The police ordered your car to get towed. It was a hazard. You couldn't leave it there. Why would they have to pay you that part back? Because my car was damaged on this no, property. No, that's why you're suing for the damage. Mm -hmm. But you're also adding to your lawsuit for the damage that you want them to return the money that, that you paid them for towing and storage, even though they earned that. I, you know, you, you, court is about making you whole, not giving you a bonanza. Okay. Um, well, 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 I am here to agree with you that, and <laughs> because I thought that you, I'll agree with that. So really, the question for me is, what is a car, you know, the Blue Book value in good condition? It's a nice, well-kept-up 2000. Except for the axle? Uh -huh. right. Except for that. So right. Well-kept, yes, yeah. clean. Yeah, but here's the thing. Right Any damages right that you can ever claim for a car are limited to the fair market value of the car. In other words, 
You can't say it'll be a hundred thousand dollars to fix my two thousand dollar hoopty. <laughs> so you got to pay the hundred thousand. No, you're capped at the two thousand dollars for two thousand dollars wasn't the right figure to That's pick correct. for a hoopty. Let me just. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, but you're capped at the value of the car. That's the most you can get for repairs. The value of your tell me what it was again a two thousand and two Saturn. Yes. Okay. Out. Which can go is old enough to go to the prom. <laughs> All right, is is a lot less than the repair costs, okay? And we're not stupid. We kind of know that you're going to pocket most of this. The law is still the law that, you know, he, he gets to have up to the amount of the car. The uh, blue book value of your car in fair condition is $1,200. Your car wasn't in fair condition. It had a, a broken axle, you see? So I am finding in your favor, but not in the amount that you are... Um, asking for. I'm going to cap your recovery, but I am going to order you to pay him $1,000 for the repairs of the car. But I am not going to order you to return the towing and storage because there, it was a totally righteous tow and store. Um, that's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Nice. Well, the plaintiff is going to get back half of what he was singing. Mr. Aurelio, you came in here saying you weren't going to give him one red cent. What that's happened? Right. What well, happened? The judge ruled in his favor, so that's what we take. Yeah. Got to take the you, good with you the were, bad. You were just determined, just, well, we'll go to court and see what happens. Well, that was the best place, because we couldn't come to agreement otherwise. So you yeah, needed right. somebody okay. to decide for it. Well, you're on the hook for it this time. Thank you very okay. much. You must hold, hold on to a few documents back there. Sana, come on out, Mr. Shabazz. You only get about half of what you were saying. You know, you're turning the wrong way here. Hmm. All right, OK, you get $1,000, not the almost 2000 you were seeking. What are you going to do with it? You'll repair the car? Uh, yes. OK. Yes. All right. Good enough. Yes, and Congratulations. I agree with the judge. You, I'm sure you do agree. Yes. <laughs> Good for you. All right. I wouldn't argue with her either. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug. Well, here's the thing. Um, when you have a car and it gets damaged, um, you can absolutely sue the person who damaged it for the value of the car. The issue is this. If the repair cost exceeds the blue book market value of the used car, you can only get that amount, the amount that the car is worth at the time it was damaged. That is your limit. 